Drinking, cheating, country songs is what we got some beer drinking cheaters right over there. So it looks like probably that guy in it. And, but we don't mean to be, but, but, and people get, mad, you know, really mad at, where, where was it that lady got, oh, oh, Did she got Branson, Missouri. Branson, oh, Missouri. Boy, she get, oh, boy, she got mad. I ain't kidding you. She, I mean, we did a great show. And, and the folks loved us. They were like y'all, they were laughing, giggling, singing along, having a big time. They loved us. We did a great show. They gave us a standing ovation after the show. Now, y'all don't have to do that. They did. <laughs> And then after the show, we got this letter backstage. Dear Gatlin Brothers, I loved your show. It was wonderful. You sang some beautiful songs and some gorgeous harmony. Absolutely loved the show. All the way up to that song about the red gingham dress hitting the floor. She went on to explain, I am a Baptist. We do not appreciate lyrics like that in songs, so that is when I left your show. She signed her name, then she put P.S. Anyway, I had to get home early so I could watch Sex in the City. <laughs> Figure that, we got a Baptist here? We're in Georgia, we got a Baptist. Baptist. Yeah. yeah, how about Methodist? Those are just Baptists who are afraid of water. It's the same. Thing. Church of Christ people, we got some of y'all? Yeah, we'll do a little a cappella. No piano in the church, but God will go to heaven. How about old Pentecostal folks like us, huh? You've been wanting to raise your hand all day anyway, haven't you, sweetheart? How about Catholics? You got any Catholics up here? Look, we're all God's kids, right? We're all God's kids. Before I go any further, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, uh, one of my favorite philosophers, an old boy named Sir Andrew Fletcher. Lord Andrew Fletcher, he was from a little town called S Saltoon in Scotland. Many years ago, he said, he, he said, if I could only write the songs of a nation, I wouldn't care who wrote its law. He thought songs were pretty important, right? And when you think about some of the laws that are being written today, I like the songs better. You know what I'm saying? Let, let me tell you, and another old boy. Yeah, another songwriter. A songwriter uh, named George Frederick Root, he wrote this. Jesus loves the little children. Sing it. All the children of the world. Red. saying that song about the red gingham dress is anywhere close to Jesus loves a little too. No, no. But it's, that's what we believe that it's all important. And religion, and your, whatever religion you are, we, we respect that. You, you've changed religions, haven't you? Who, me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Pay, pay attention, okay? I'm doing a show. I ain't a mighty fine when I'm out of here. I'm just telling these people you've recently changed religion. Is that right? Yes, I have. Okay, so what religion are you now? Well, Larry, I was Pentecostal when I was a little boy. <laughs> Pentecostal when you were a little boy. Then what? Uh, Baptist. Woo! Baptist. Yeah. All right. What are you now? Oh, I'm all the way up to Presbyterian. 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 We got any Presbyterian folks out there? Oh, my people. A nice lady right in front of you there. Sweetheart, you'll be interested in knowing what Brother Rudy told me a couple weeks ago. You remember what you told me? I have no idea. You, you told me that now that you've been a Presbyterian for a while, you realize there's a big difference between Baptist and Presbyterian. So what is that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unlike the Baptist, uh, Presbyterians will at least say hello to you in the liquor store. <laughs> 